Good morning guys, I'm testing out a new camera today. This is exciting, the quality should be better than usual. Let me know what you think. I think you should probably be able to see a lot more detail like in my skin and just in everything because it's a really nice camera and I heard that it's good in low light. I really hope it is because I've never had a camera that I can vlog at nighttime with. That's why you don't really see me do too many nighttime videos because the footage just always looks like crap. But Japan looks really cool at nighttime so if I can capture that for you guys, I'm gonna be really happy. My friend Esther is here at the moment. She's working. Esther works from home as well, so we hang out a lot and just like chill and edit and stuff. I will link her Instagram down below. Go follow her, she's really pretty and amazing <laughs> at what she does. Needy, where are you? Hi. Needy. He's not impressed, but Tuna loves Needy and they're best friends and it's the cutest thing ever. So it's fun when she comes over. Isn't it, Maro? It's fun. <laughs> Happy boy! Can see your lipstick in HD. Show them your lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> this is too fun. Oh my god, I love it. Koimo, say hi to everyone. <laughs> Alright, I'll say bye now and I'll see you in Hiroshima. Sushi time! So this is my favorite sushi shop in Sendai, it's called Sushi Zanmai. They have one in Tokyo too, but it's not as good. If you're in Sendai and you want good sushi, Sushi Zanmai, downtown. <coughs> so Chris and I usually get the Maguro Zanmai set. It's really good. It's, it's just a bunch of tuna. So if you're picky with fish like I am, it's really nice. And I think Esther's gonna get that as well. And then we got a couple of nigiri. They have a pretty wide menu of different sushi, so. It's probably something for everyone. They also have California rolls, which is rare. I'm designing a new tattoo for Esther. <laughs> she wants to cover this. Do you guys know what it means? Yeah. So I was thinking, because you don't want it to be too thick. So as long yeah. as you make the curve of the snake like this, it's not a thick snake, right? And then the head like this. Beautiful. Show the people <laughs> my art skills. <laughs> See? Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> Here is the Maguro Zanmai set. This is about 4,000 yen, but it's got all different kinds of tuna. They also have really nice salmon sushi here, if you like salmon. I have a Hungarian lesson in half an hour. I'm really excited. So I studied Hungarian in university for like a year or two, I don't even remember. I got to like a very, very basic conversational level Hungarian at one point, and then I just never had any chance to use it anywhere, especially living in Japan. But now one of my best friends is Hungarian and I really wanna be able to have a good conversation with my grandpa. So I've been using italki to do one-on-one -on -one language lessons with a native Hungarian speaker. She's super cool and I've been having a really good time with it. I'm gonna film a bit of my lesson today so you guys can see what it's like, but yeah, it's been really fun. I really hope that I can boost my Hungarian skills and just get to a point where I'm comfortable talking about really simple things, I think. That's a reasonable goal to reach for at the moment. It's a hard language, you guys. <laughs> az, uh, oh, three. Ed, kate, haro. Uh, az, haro, toro. Super. Mi ez? Uh, box. Eh? Az, ed, piros, da, da, dabash, da, ah. Nagyon jó. Dobash. Nagyon jó. Dobash. Az az, 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 so with italki you pay per lesson, so there's no commitment to a subscription or anything. You can get lessons for as low as $5. They have over 150 languages to choose from. I know lots of you are studying Japanese. Highly recommend it if you would like to speak one-on-one -on -one with a native Japanese speaker and brush up on your Japanese skills. It works really well for me because I can take a lesson at any time from anywhere just on my laptop when I'm traveling for work. If you buy $10 of credit, you will get $5 off your first lesson if you use my code SHARLA. This discount is only available for the first 50 users, so get in there quickly if you would like to use it. Mara wants to learn Hungarian. Tita. Circa tita. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. 
Esther speaks really good Hungarian, so I'm gonna practice with her what I learned today. Honestly, I think I've forgotten lots of it already. <laughs> I'm really struggling with pronunciation. I think that is what is holding me back from being really good at Hungarian. It's very tough, and I feel like I'm gonna have to spend lots of time really practicing my pronunciation with my teacher and getting comfortable with that, and then I can move on to learning grammar and making sentences, but let's try. I learned how to say this is a gray cat no, that is a gray cat because it's over there. So, az egy tsurke, tsurke, tsurke tsitsa, tsurke tsitsa, tsurke tsitsa, az egy tsurke tsitsa. What was I trying to say the other day? Oh yeah, hojvaj, hojvaj. It's better. It's better. Than Am I getting better? Yeah. You have. If you're Hungarian, you have no idea how hard it is to pronounce the G Y sound like hojvaj. We can't do that with an English speaking mouth easily at all. Hojvaj. 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 Hi! Is that your friend? Is that your friend? Sleepy mode. Oh, look! Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, baby, you wanna cuddle? You wanna cuddle? Go cuddle! Oh, that's so cute! Oh my god! It's adorable. <laughs> I wish they'd lie down together. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much. Too much, <laughs> too, much too soon. <laughs> so I found these interesting fruits at Costco and I had to try them. Have you guys seen these before? They're called kiwi berries. They're little, I don't, Honestly, I don't know what they are. I was gonna say they're like miniature kiwis, but they don't really look like kiwis. And I think you can eat the whole thing. They're from New Zealand. Yeah, they're not hairy like a kiwi. So I, I don't know what to expect. You wanna try one? Mm. We should wash them first. Oh, that's so small. It's yeah, hard. it's tiny and you can eat the whole thing. It smells good. What does it look like? That's kiwi. That's so cool. A what? Bit, a, bit, a bit beer. Is it better? Sour. <laughs> sour, yeah. yeah. Sour. Juicy. Oh. Ooh. You know what it tastes like? It's like, oh, it's got cat hair. <laughs> it's like a combination of a kiwi and a musket grape, which is like my favorite grape. They're actually about the size of these. They're so good. Wow, this is actually really good. Salt. I'm obsessed, I like them. They taste healthy though. Like if it's super sour, I think that means it has lots of vitamin C in it, so. Oh really? Yeah. Can I get one more? Yeah, please eat as many as you can. <laughs> I've got tons, <laughs> eat lots. She's the best chef in the world. Chris the movie. Very attractive. <laughs>
this is a snowdrop sake, yogurt sake. You can only get it for a certain few months of the year. It's made in Fukushima. It's basically a yogurt, yogurt liqueur, and uh, it's pretty fucking good. Sounds um, good. Is that what Ian, you're drinking? Ian introduced me to it, and I had one bottle with. Did you try any? No. You went away with me. I drank one bottle with um, Connor and Paul, the editor, and one bottle with PewDiePie, <laughs> and they loved it. And it's very good. Highly recommend it. Snowdrop. What the fuck is this? Look at this. What is this mess? Rotterdam was in here earlier for the yeah. first time in um, a while, and he's just left this mess all over the table. <laughs> is this what we're drinking? Yes. Lemon sour. Oni sour. Oh, it's like really, really uh, sour. 1.5 times the sourness of this. Up regular a lemon. One. Jesus. <laughs> God. Right. Luckily, you've only got to drink half each. <laughs> Luckily, why are we forcing ourselves to drink it? Because there's nothing else. <laughs> I, I tried to... to get a nice drink out of his fridge and I drank this apple juice and he's like, how is it? I'm like, oh yeah, it's, it's fine. It's like, oh, I ordered it before Christmas. Some expired apple juice, so that's nice. And then I was like, fine, I'll have the Kelpis water. Also expired February of last year. That's over a year past the expiry date. Lemon sour. Mm. That's not scary. <laughs> I remember that. That was horrible. Now I got some Swedish bloke who just tried to sell me some G fuel. <laughs> and then somewhere back here, oh, there's Connor and Pete as well. Why do they get to be on the wall and they're just the like shoved to the yeah. pile hidden away? Well, now that we're moving, <laughs> now that the studio is going to be torn down and, and moved, it's like, why bother sticking it to the wall? Because it's going to be ripped off soon. Here you go, cheers. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> cheers. 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 It smells very lemony. Mm, mm, mm. It's good. It's good, but it, yeah, it's very sour. These canned cocktails that you get from the Japanese convenience store always have artificial sweetener in them, but this is one of the few that doesn't. Oh, yeah. It uses real sugar. An artistic shot through the fish. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the studio, I think, is the fish. <laughs> I wonder yeah. where they got this. I don't know, but I'll never forget the way uh, Pete Premier 2 sang, <laughs> uh, what was it? What a Wonderful World. What a Wonderful World using this on the first day of the studio opening. <laughs> Horrible, isn't it? It's the fish coming to Tokyo. Everything is coming to Tokyo, even you, dare I say. <laughs> well, that's good. It's going to cost, I think, one third of the construction to move it. Mm -hmm. It's actually not that bad, really, because they've got to obviously take the whole thing down, which is... And then build it again, and, and that's rebuild it. I want to sweeten the deal by expanding the studio and making it even bigger. Yeah. I think the problem is on the other side, which we'll go and look at in a minute, mm. like I've just not been able to film down there that much. Quite a narrow alleyway, like it looks great. Yeah. Um, it looks fantastic, but I can't actually get down there and film. So what would you add to it if you uh, could? If I could? Yeah. Um, well, I think this area is going to be hard to modify. Maybe they can push that wall out more that way. Well, yeah, I'm sure they could. That would be ideal. Yeah. And then that side, like that area, this area now, right? There's not a whole lot going on here. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like we could have, I don't know, like a games arcade. You're very dark. <laughs> can't we see could have you. a games arcade <laughs> over this side. Open to your ideas, guys. Let me know what you want to see. Yeah. But I definitely want to find more ways of, of making use of it. Yeah, Using it as like a film ideas. set would be really cool. I wanted to do a theatrical live stream here um, with like Pete. Because he's a great actor. Yeah. And do a, like a sketch in real time live with multiple cameras. That's a common problem I have. I think that's another reason the movie is it's really hard constantly convincing friends to come all the mm. way up to Sendai to come here. And that's fair enough. It's not cheap riding the bullet train and mm. whatnot. So yeah, I'm hoping by moving to Tokyo, we'll actually get to use it more and do yeah. some more. Yeah, I think cool they can move this back and mm. extend that wall there because this area is so cool. It, well, this, it would this... make a great backdrop for videos. Yeah, and this is the coolest part of the whole studio. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, but see I it. can't frame it. Like, how the hell do you frame it? You need a super wide lens to be like here. Yeah. Right? Um, like, I loved when I did this thing 12 Days of Christmas, uh, <laughs> yeah. like a year and a half ago, whatever it was. When we first opened the studio, I did try and film down here a little bit. But like, there's just so much attention to detail. It's just yeah, not a bit really notice it. on video. Like this is a bit like Blade Runner, like the the electronics shop where Deckard, the character played by Harrison Ford, kills a woman. Mm. She smashes through the windscreen. 
uh, smashes through the shop window. So. <laughs> the face is reflecting in that TV and it looks really creepy. That's pretty far. <laughs> yeah, there's some really creepy reflections like, between this one and that yeah, one. Yeah, it's really yeah. cool. They did a really good job when making this. To yeah. give it that lived in feel, like everything's weathered and torn and tattered and there's lots of reflections, TV screens and things reflecting off there. So, yeah, absolutely. Oh, the original cat. Want to find more ways Still of using got this place. It. This is the yeah. the great Maneki Neke, the, the OG, um, with the, the shattered OG. remnants within. She can you know, it. I love, yeah. That's where you connect, you um, rebuild it with gold. Right? Yeah. It wouldn't be too hard because they're quite big pieces, well, I, I think. I kind of like showing what happened to it in some respect. I'm also worried the next one's going to happen because there's going to be an earthquake again soon, probably. Probably, yeah. And that one's going to smash to pieces. And <laughs> in no time at all, this whole cupboard's going to be filled with the smashed remnants of Maneki Neko, <laughs> past and present. What's another worrying thing is all these snacks must have gone off. Well, I don't think they were put here to eat, were they? Yeah, do you want one? No. Tasty. Yeah, March 2022. <laughs> these are probably still oh, edible. These are great. That's pretty creepy. I love these. Uh -oh. These are some of my favorite Japanese snacks. You can eat them if you want. Well, let's take a look at the date. August of 2022. Oh. <laughs> it's not too bad. I never even. They're just these. sugar. Those ones are just sugar. Yeah. I'm sure. That, why is that one open? Oh, oh god. god. They're all open now. Oh no. <laughs> oh, fuck. I regret bringing you in here. <laughs> it's definitely oh, my fault. No. I've never had a studio. I always just film in my house. I think. I it's... don't know what I would do with it to be honest. Well, I think it suits you better having just your real life house. Yeah, right? it does. Except for when it's really messy. Oh. Which is most of the time. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so we're not here in Sendai for much longer, really. It's kind of sad. I feel like we just moved here. It went by so fast. I don't know if it was because of COVID or just us being really busy, but we didn't get to spend much time in Sendai itself at all. So. Traveling around it. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to come back and That'll visit. We'll definitely be coming back to Tohoku. It's still a few months away though, the move. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. See you again very soon. Nice to meet you. My name is Chris. <laughs> I have a YouTube channel called uh, A Browd in Japan. Horrible. Promoting his YouTube channel on my videos. A Browd in Japan. Subscribe. <laughs>